Seattle is a mess. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Seattle. The place of liberal fantasy. Now, I've been to Seattle on multiple occasions. We have family out in Seattle, and it is a mess. Every time I go down there, I don't even want to go downtown. It's just too many homeless people. It is too liberal. It's, it's crazy to me. Now, if you want to go down there and vacation to get some exposure to something different, it'll work. But if you want to live there, just the liberal policies and the way they do business in Seattle is already enough that I would never want to live there. But then you add in all the rain and the misery of living in Seattle. I don't know how anybody would want to ever live there or go there. And then you add in the cost of living and you just, it's a wash. Now, they have the liberals, the leftists, the lunatics, the, the I need, I should have got a spanking when I was a kid, but my mama and them didn't love me enough to discipline me. Now the police have to discipline me. Those kids have now taken over several blocks in Seattle. And the, the, the funny thing is, these are the same people that's saying, everybody's welcome, no borders, no walls. They have created a compound and they put borders. They put barricades up. They are verifying who you are when you come in and out. It's, it sounds like the southern border of the United States of America. But these are the same people that don't want no borders, no laws, no walls. And then they got a guy in there, and I don't know who he is, but he's somehow, I don't know if he made himself the leader or he's the one that organized all this stuff, but he has somehow become the leader of the trolls. And this is the funny thing. Somebody said this on my live stream the other night. Is they said they are saying no police allowed or whatever and that they're the police, right? I think even he made a statement to say I'm the police or something of a nature. This is what people are, are saying in the ether out there. And that he was knocking people over the head and telling them to do this and do that and, and, and instructing people to do this in violence and ridiculousness. And the funny thing is that, that if he claimed that he's the police, he is committing police brutality on his newly made police force. Y'all, it is absolutely crazy. People are in there getting assaulted sexually. People are getting hurt. They ain't got no food. What are y'all doing? And, and they, they have some of the most ridiculous demands that I've ever heard. The first one is to abolish police. Think about this for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. You want to technically be your own country. You want to secede from, I don't know, the state of Washington. So maybe you want to be your own city. You, you couldn't be your own country. But they were supposed to be a uh, sovereign. So you want to secede. You want to be your own nation. Yet you're demanding help from the nation that you want to separate from. You, you're claiming that the police are not allowed. Government officials are not allowed. This is your space. You are autonomous. You, you know, you guys are, are running this thing. And but you're asking for help from outside people. Think about this for a minute. This is how ridiculous some of these people are. If you are going to commandeer an area, you might want to commandeer an area that has resources. Right. Like, like food, like clothing, like uh, like at least you can make some clothes, um, running water. You can take baths. It, it, that only makes sense. But if you're going to get a square concrete area of about four blocks and now you got signs up saying, please help us. We need organic food. We need vegan options. <laughs> you got to be crazy. These people are crazy, man. I don't know what it is. Is COVID has COVID gotten the best of our brain cells? I mean, not ours, theirs. Have COVID gotten the best of their brain cells? These people are not thinking. And the mayor is completely spineless. Completely spineless. I, I want you to hear, I wasn't going to play this, but I want you to hear what the mayor said about all of this foolery. Roll the film. Lawfully gathering and expressing First Amendment rights, demanding we do better as a society, 
and providing true equity for communities of color is not terrorism. It is patriotism. We've got four blocks in Seattle that you just saw pictures of that is more like a block party atmosphere. It's not an armed takeover. We have block parties and, and the like in this part of Seattle all the time. It's, it's known for that. How long do you think Seattle and those few blocks looks like this? I don't know. We could have the summer of love. Now, what kind of leader is this? They cannot even admit that people are trying to occupy Seattle. They're trying to occupy a space. Um, there was reports that some of these people have guns and that they have like an armed security to hold the fort down. I, you cannot make this stuff up, man. And, and I honestly believe and, and, with all my heart that this is forcing Trump into re-election. This is literally a Trump campaign. They are campaigning for President Trump to be the president for another four years and to win the House of Representatives back. Because these people, the rational people in Seattle, and I know there's a lot of people that can't go to work. They did. They, they took over a police station like the rational people in Seattle that need the police services that have called the police in the last. I don't know how many days they are looking at these people like, what are you doing? You guys want free education? You want to disband the police department? You want black people to have free whatever the case may be? You guys are irrational. How about you go get a job? Then you can, then you can go pay for black people to live and you pay for them to live with your job and money that you've made. But now they don't want to do that. They want the government to take care of them. But normal people are like, this is BS. People are coming from Seattle to come to Arizona because they still locked down. You can't go to restaurants. You can't get your hair done. You can't do nothing. People can see this and recognize this. This is not America. I think all over the country where you see people saying they want to defund the police department. Normal, rational people, which is probably the majority of the people in the country, are like, what? And it's, it's it happened to be most of these Democrat run cities, Democratic mayors wanting the public to be exposed to extreme criminal behavior and average day people are like no way no way are you guys going to be able to do this no way are you going to uh, uh, throw my protection because y'all mad at something that happened in minneapolis there's no way so with COVID 19 with this with all of these looting and rioting and protesting and occupy and defend the police how would you vote for any of these democrats how would you vote for them ever again? Ever. Ever. They have no solutions. They've done nothing while they be in public office. And, 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 and they're not even trying to offer anything but uh, condolences. Because they ain't offering you no hope. But I don't know, man. Maybe it's just B-Tato. Maybe what's going on in Seattle, this Occupy uh, space or whatever they're doing, the autonomous, the autonomous area that ain't gonna probably last no more than by a week because they have no resources um i don't know if i'm tripping y'all let me know in the comment section y'all see this different than me or is these people completely crazy make sure you follow the channel make sure you visit the Austin store where you get all the cool merch y'all know what it is i'll see you on the next one i'm out